Hello and welcome to Cool Chords everyone. Thought today I'd work on a little bit of Claire Fisher's mirroring and mirroring is something that anyone can do in any situation. It's where, I think mirroring is where you take a chord for instance and this C major 7 Instead of playing unison, you start on the seventh. So that means sometimes you get these sixths, sixths. So you're really only left with uh, major sevenths sometimes, and the major seventh is obviously a clash. But in this context, it's not a bad little clash. And Claire Fisher likes to, he's written uh, on his exercises, where is it? This is on page, yeah, and obviously it's on the website, it's on uh, his website, but I can send it to you if you like, or there might be a link on this, um, it might, these are all my exercises all in this book here, and maybe I can send a link to that, but um, this is sequence number six, these warm-up exercises, and... Yeah, you can find that online. Anyway, let's get into it. So it starts with the minor major 7. Should point out as well that it's written in two octaves. And it, it's a little bit difficult to play the two octaves, I will, I will admit. I would say if it's 25% difficult to play the first one that I said, one octave, 75% difficult to play the two octaves. So it's a big difference. So we'll get there eventually, but let's just do one octave because I really think you should start with one octave. Just to get, because one octave is really, you can play a lot faster, you're in the position. You know, you're playing solo, the bass player's going, you're like, you know, you're playing, and everyone's going, oh wow, how are you doing that, you know? So, but I can't do that over two, I can't do that over two octaves just yet. Um, so start with one octave. Minor major, now major seven. Augmented major seven. Sit back and relax. I'm going to try and play in all keys this sequence.
the next step will be to play everything two octaves. So we'll see you next time for that. That's Claire Fisher's mirroring. And of course, you can actually do the opposite way. You can actually play that. No, it doesn't work as well, is it? The C and the B. It's still mirroring though, right? It's still mirroring. Um, still playing the same notes. much for watching Cool Chords. Have a wonderful day. My name's Hugh Blaines and happy practicing. Happy, hope you can have fun with those mirror, mirroring exercises by Claire Fisher. Thank you very much.